Hello, Fofamit here, and today we're going to be revisiting my favorite VTubing app called VC Face. We've actually looked at it before in a couple other videos, which you might see popping up here. And then another one maybe will pop up here, but I'll make sure that I have the links in the video description. But it has actually had some quite substantial updates to it, basically overhauling the program completely and basically fixing any of the issues that I had in my in that I have addressed in the previous video. So let's go take a look at it. This video has been brought to you by Private Internet Access for fast, reliable internet browsing that allows you to appear like you're from any country in the world. Please click on the link in the video description down below. Using that link really helps this channel grow. So here we are back in VC face. And if you already opened this application before, it might already have your avatars loaded, but if not, then all you have to do is click uh, this button right here, the plus sign to find and locate your VRM avatars. If you don't know how to um, get a VRM avatar or don't know how to convert it, I do have a video that should pop up somewhere right there if you want to know how to do that. So let's get into the application. So I already have my avatar loaded. So the first thing you're going to notice right off the bat is that the head tracking issue that I was having before is completely fixed. And also what's really, really cool is the face tracking that's in this application has gotten way, way better. So what's actually happening right now, what you'll see with most applications is they'll use something called like um, audio lip sync, which basically means that uh, it listens to the sounds that you're making and will make a mouth like it'll make a mouth shape based on that like a ah, e u e eh, o oh, and basically make a preset determine shapes for your mouth. However, what's actually happening here by default is that it's using your webcam face tracking and it's actually doing a really, really good job. I was actually quite surprised by it. So um, I actually have the uh, module for that turned on, as you can see over there, activated with my webcam. I really, really recommend for VC face to use uh, at least a Logitech C920 and have it set to 1080p to get the best quality. And also your lighting does also matter a lot as well. And what you need to do to get started in this is you can just go to the settings here and then here you can see the leap motion settings. Here's some of your special effects that you can add and some of the light settings, the expression settings. This is where you're going to go to go and set all of the shortcuts that you would need in order to have some of your uh, expressions. So for example, if I wanted to have, let's say the fun face, my expression is set to alt four on the numpad. So if I press alt four on the numpad like this together, it gives me my the fun face expression that you see right here. And then I just press alt four again, and you can also turn off toggle and non toggle. So we'll just look at that up for a moment. So under expression settings, you can see right near, I have it set on toggle, but if I put it on hold, then I have to actually hold down the alt um, numpad four button. As soon as I let go, it deactivates. Another neat thing that I didn't mention before, because it was more of an experimental phase before, and the face tracking wasn't as good in the previous version when we looked at it uh, in another video is you can actually go to your settings, go to general settings, and then you can go here where it says face tracking. When you have the face tracking on, like we've had this entire time, it does use a little bit more of your CPU power, but what it allows you to do, it allows you to automatically detect your facial expression and have that activate one of those expressions that we were looking at earlier. So let's take a moment to look at this. So I'm going to go here and click on joy. And then I'm going to make my facial expression. And then I'm going to hit calibrate. And then as you can see right there, it has activated that facial expression based on my face. Now, one thing uh, you might want to do is to disable the auto blink while the emotions are on, or else you might run into some issues there like uh, I just did right there. So one thing you might have noticed is that when I was blinking during that expression, it kind of did a double blink. And if you don't want that to happen, but you want to be able to have that automatic face capture, then all you need to do is like disable eye blinking when that emotion is enabled. So we can see that happening here. So I'm disabling that. 
And now when I activate joy, even though I'm blinking, it's not gonna activate blink. In my previous video, I also talked about how the hand tracking and the leap motion was a little bit off. And what I can tell you is that it has greatly improved. So give me a moment to turn my leap motion on. So in order to get the leap motion hand tracking to work the way I wanted, I actually had to take off my hand tracking for my other app. But as you can see here, the leap motion actually works much better than it did before. So what we can do is if you wanna be able to just see it on its own, we can hit this little item box down in the bottom corner and now it activates as a transparent window. So what I can do now is in OBS, all you have to do then is go into VC face and go to properties. And then once you have it set to that little square, then you go to click on allow transparency. So then that means when you have the application open, it'll be transparent just like this. And now with the transparent window, we can get a better look on how the hand tracking works. And as you can see, it does actually, it does a really good job and it's essentially addressed all of the issues that I brought up in my previous video. So this has really become the best free VTubing app that you can get out there. And if you want to see my impressions in my other videos, um, once again, like I said, the links are in the video description down below. I hope you've liked my revisit of my favorite free VTubing application, VC Face. Like I said, links will be in the description down below. And also, if you wanna know how I'm doing this avatar, I'll also make sure that I have that linked in the video description below and you might be able to see a pop-up right there. And also, I stream on Twitch. So if you ever wanna come in and chat about VTubing stuff or anything in general, feel free to pop in and say hello. Bye-bye.